a great question to ask yourself is where is this occurring? You know, if you feel something in your knee, or you feel something in your head, or you have a thought in your head, it's like, where is this occurring? And when you ask where is this occurring, it kind of opens up this duality which is in your perception, or appears to be, of like, there is a thing, and then there's like a gap. So there's like, a th there's space where the thing is, and then there's no space where the thing isn't. So it's like, where is it? Well, it's somewhere in space, and it's not no space, so it must be somewhere. And then when you really look into it, it's like, oh, like, where is it? I mean, there's like space in my knee, and there's no space everywhere else, and it's like, oh, there's like space in my head, and there's like no space everywhere else. But really, that duality of like space and no space, or like things and nothing, like things having space, and then just space having nothing, that isn't a real duality. There isn't really a difference between things that have space and things that have no space. There isn't really a difference between something and nothing. As in, when you really look at things in your actual perception, when you really look at nothing in your actual, actual perception, when you really consider what's different between those things, you end up finding out that that entire thing isn't real. Like, your mind is actually non-dual. Dualities are not the fundamental aspect of mind. And any dualities that do occur are just kind of like a flavor of your perception, which occur or does not occur. And they're very, you know, kind of um, impermanent. They come and they go. It's like, oh, there's space and there's no space. There's like things and there's nothing, but not all the time. And sometimes not at all, and sometimes a lot. Uh, so when you really look at the mind in terms of space and no space, and really drill into that idea, and start really just looking at it, it can kind of just fade away. And then you have a mind which isn't in space, and isn't in no space, isn't something and isn't nothing, and that's the unborn mind, the mind that you were born with at your birth, and has existed for everyone, universally, everything universally, forever and always will.